North, how can I set the steam turbine speed to reduce energy waste on a centrifugal pump? That's a really good and important question. It's important because for every 10% you reduce the speed of the pump and of the turbine, you'll save about 30% of the motor steam in the turbine. That's the affinity law in action. In order to select the optimum turbine speed, what you need to do is look at the position of the control valve on the discharge of the pump. Let's say the control valve is 50% closed. As you slow the turbine down and there's a little curled knob on the side of the turbine, that's a speed control, you slow the turbine down, the governor speed control valve will now start to close and the control valve on the discharge of the pump will start to open. Now this raises two other questions. The first question is, perhaps you don't actually need this valve on the discharge of the pump. Perhaps you can control the flow delivered by the pump simply by directly adjusting the turbine speed. And that's done all the time. It's government speed control. And the other thing which may disturb you about what I've just said is because you slow the turbine down, and as a consequence, the government steam speed control valve starts to close, you're reducing the amount of work you could extract from each pound of steam because you are parasitically throttling the steam back. And that's a very important concern. And that's what the hand valves or star valves or power valves on the turbine, turbine steam chest are all about. But I'll have to discuss that more complex subject at a later time.